Hey guys, it's Rebecca Rissat. So today I'm going to be working with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop and I'm going to be swatching this and comparing it to every shade that I have that matches this palette. So, as you can see, we have quite a few. I'm going to go ahead and get started with swatching this one on my arm. I'm not going to talk through this part of it um, while I'm swatching, so you can just sit and, you know, I might speed it up. Um, just for those that don't know, I do have a Patreon that um, I just revamped. So if you are interested in helping support me or my channel, you can do either a one-time donation or a monthly donation where um, anything that I post on Patreon, people on Patreon who are patrons will get to see that content first. And then like a week or two later, it will go up on my YouTube channel. So they'll get like first peek at it as well as they will get to see the um, polls and stuff that I put up there that I don't put up on my YouTube channel. That stuff will go there first. And then people there can vote. And I will put different polls on my YouTube channel, but the polls that go up on Patreon will be exclusive to my patrons only. Um, I won't be duplicating the polls, so they'll get a say in what I post on my channel or what videos get uploaded when, so that they have different features. There will also be live streams once a month on Patreon to discuss you know, life and YouTube updates and what kind of things they wanna see and just general discussions about, you know, what's going on with me and things like that. So I will do at least a one hour live stream strictly for Patreon patrons on my Patreon. I didn't pick up a whole lot of shadow with that one. So that um, they get a little bit more of like an interactive type of content on there so that um, it's a little bit going to be a little bit different than my YouTube channel. And I will still do my YouTube channel, like the live stream shot my stash. I will continue to do those but the live streams on my Patreon will be quite a bit different. All right, so this is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette swatched out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up here. We're gonna start with BH Cosmetics first because the majority of the palettes that I have are from BH. So this is the Gemini palette. We have the first shade here and then this yellow shade here. I have a lot of trouble with this yellow shade with it being crumbly and kind of chalky on my skin and you would think with as fair as I am it wouldn't be so chalky but it, it is horrible and I probably should have waited to put that darn glitter shade on because I got glitter particles all over my arm. This shade is a little bit lighter than this shade but it's darker than this one and this yellow is a pretty close match to the top top row shade from the ColourPop one. So that was the Gemini palette. There really aren't any other shades in there. Um, I guess I could swatch the center shade. It's kind of close to this. It's a little bit lighter than the, the second shade. And for whatever reason, I look like I'm completely washed out. Turn the light down just a little bit. I don't want to turn it down too much. There's glitter all over my cloth. <laughs> I don't want to turn it down too much because then you won't be able to see anything. All right, so that was the Gemini palette. Now moving on to the Taurus. There was a couple of shades in here that I thought might work. So you have this shade here, the second shade, and then this gold shade right here that I thought would be similar to some of the shimmers in here. Okay, that's way too light. Nope, that one's too light as well. Ooh, that one's kind of close to this one. This one here. That, this one has more like a, a yellow gold, whereas this one has more of an orange. I'm zoom you in more and see. That helps with the lovely lighting factor. So this shade and this shade 
are very similar. And I will do some video outside so you can see these as well. So that was the BH Cosmetics Taurus. Then we have the Aries. I pulled this, but I don't think anything in here is going to match. Looking at it now, I was thinking kind of this like orangey shade. I'll swatch both of those, but I think they're both going to be... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not close at all. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this one from the equation. And then we have the Pisces palette, which has um, the center shade that I was looking at, as well as the brown. Those were two that I was thinking that might be similar. So we have the center shade, and then we have this brown here. Nope, the center shades definitely doesn't match anything in the palette. And then the brown. It's a little bit too warm. This one, this one has more like a mustard base, whereas this one has more like a red base to it. Okay, definitely not the, what I was thinking. But you know, you never know until you swatch these things. That's why I like doing these. I'm actually curious. I do these because I personally am curious. All right, so now with the Capricorn palette, I'm gonna put that one to the side too. I pulled it just to be safe. Then we have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. There are several yellow shades in here. I'm definitely going to have to double swatch these. I found that the pigmentation on these is okay if you're going for like a light eyeshadow look, but if you want the Kapow effect, you really have to build up the shadows, but they blend out beautifully. They mix well with the other matte shadows compared to my James Charles palette where all it wants to do is fight with me. Okay, so the first shade that I swatched, which is this one up here by the hot pink, actually both of these look like this one here which is the bottom row center shade on the ColourPop. They both, if you mix probably one of these two shades, you could probably get the top row shade here. Let me open this to show you. So we're looking at this shade and this shade in this palette. As far, let's see, Sweet Spot and Oh Behave would probably be comparable. And just for SMGs, I'm gonna mix these two shades and see if I can get that first shade. Pretty close. It's pretty close. I think you'd have to do a two to one ratio on this. So two of two dunks in with the darker shade and one dunk in on the lighter shade in order to mix it in order to get it close. And I'm, I don't know, I'll, I'll do these bronzy shades down here at the bottom. Ooh, that's kind of close. A little bit more copper. I think maybe these two mix might be close to that. So let's go ahead and try that. I like doing the mixing because I like to see if I can make a shade. I mean, we dip into different shades with our brushes, so why not with swatches? Okay, that's a little bit too much copper. So let me grab a little bit more of the bronzy shade. It's not quite as orange as this one, but it's close. This shade here that I just mixed, it's definitely close to this. So this palette has at least three shade similarities to the ColourPop which is, you know, it's nice to see that I have a palette that I can mix shadows in order to get something like that. So then we have the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights. It has a couple of shades in here that I was thinking. So I'm going to grab Borealis, Magnetic, and Australis. Now Austra Australis is kind of green. Nope, Borealis has got too much pink in it. Magnetic is almost a spot on shade match for was it Queen Bee? Yeah, Queen Bee. And then we have Australis. Oh, that's way too green. Oh, that's way too green. So th there are the three that I thought of in that palette. Um, actually, no, I was reading those wrong. This is Phenomenon, 24 karat and glowing. And I'm gonna grab Sparkling really quick. It's kind of orangey. Nope, it's more like the center shade from the other palette. I was thinking it would be similar to this one, but it's not. And I'm running out of arm here. I'm going to have to switch to my other arm here in just a second. And then we have the Zodiac palette. And I've got one more BH palette to go. Okay, the BH palette here has a few shades that I thought. So you have the Aquarius shade. Take a look at my arm. The, the Aquarius shimmer shade, technically. And then the Aquarius matte shade. I'll start off with those. So there's the shimmer shade. 
And then the matte shade, oh, that's got too much like peach in it to match anything in this palette. And this is a darker form of that. So I'm gonna grab the center shade and a little bit more of Aquarius. And I'm gonna put the center shade down first, do it on the heel of my hand. And then I'm gonna mix Aquarius in it and see if I can get I'm closer to that shade. That made it a little bit more beige, but it is closer to this one here. So those are the shades that I saw in this palette that might possibly be close, but they're, they're not really spot on. Like I said, the Aquarius shade is a little bit darker than Sunburst. Yeah, Sunburst. Another BH palette down. And then the last BH palette that I have is the Zodiac Love Signs palette, which has a whole bunch of like oranges and yellows. And now I'm gonna have to switch sides because I'm gonna need my other arm. So this is going to be fun swatching this bad boy out to compare. So give me just a second to uh, move to the other side of the camera. Okay, so this is video with my iPhone. Up here we have the ColourPop palette to that brown right there. And then we have some of the other shades that I used or mixed trying to get shades that would be similar. And I did find like this one here I found is very similar to the yellows. I found a few that would be similar in color to the ColourPop palette. And then that is the B shade from James Charles palette. That was similar. But I didn't find any that were like exact. And I went through like nine BH Cosmetics palettes. And yes, I got glitter all the way up here. And when I bend, bend my arm, see? Bend my arm. Camera goes all the way up here. So there are a few similar shades to the ColourPop palette. But nothing exact. Nothing that I found that would be an exact dupe. I even have a swatch on my hand. But that's not like anything in the palette. So thankfully I have a few shades that are similar to this palette. But nothing that was exact, which I am glad to see. I'm glad I don't have any dupes in my own collection. Which is why I like doing these swatch videos. Because I learn things. Look at all those pretty shadows. Pretty, pretty. All right, now we are over here. I'm gonna grab the Virgo Shimmer, the Leo Shimmer, and the Cancer Shimmer. And I'm gonna start off with them over here. So we have Virgo, oop, too close, Leo, <laughs> and Cancer. I'm gonna grab a little bit more Virgo and move over just a little bit on it. So there are those three shades. And then to compare, the, oh, sorry, you couldn't see it. I think the Cancer shade is similar to this one. I thought it would be more gold. It's definitely similar. I'm going to have to swatch these out and then sit side by with my arm side by side so you can see them better. I'll grab the Virgo mat, the Leo mat, and the Cancer mat, and then we'll move on to Pisces. So we have the Virgo mat, the Leo mat, and the Cancer mat, which I'm going to have to build that one up. I think looking at my other arm, the bottom shade from the other palette, which is totally buggin', which is the bottom corner shade, uh, that one would be similar to the Cancer matte shade. Looking at how it's swatched on my arm, because it's right here. Next to this bright yellow shade. Um, and for whatever reason, the camera's all fuzzy. But anyways, it's the closest one so far. And then we have the Pisces matte and shimmer shade. I think the Pisces shimmer shade is going to be too dark. Yeah. I think they're both too dark. So that is all of my BH Cosmetics shadows.
that I found a couple that are similar, a couple that you can mix to get shades out of the ColourPop one, but nothing that was spot on. So let's see, two, four, six, oh, that's seven BH Cosmetics palettes that I just swatched. I'll move this guy into frame. Then we have this CoverGirl palette, which has two shades in it, the orange and the yellow. And the reason I'm gonna grab the orange is because I wanna see if I can mix The yellow shade is similar to Sunburst, but it doesn't have the multi-chrome effect. And then you have this orangey shade. So I want to mix these two. It's funny, I must have picked up more orange than yellow. Let's see if I can mix. It's similar to Queen Bee, but it's too orange. If Queen Bee here on my arm, this stripe here. Man. I don't really care for this CoverGirl palette. I've used it a few times and I've the shimmers are nice, but there's only a couple of mattes in it and it's just really the pigmentation just isn't there for me. And I have to fight with it. All right, let's get into the ABH subculture. There are a couple of shades in here that I think might be similar. So I'm gonna start off with Adorn and then grab Electric and New Wave. So we have Adorn, which is stuck in my arm here. Electric and New Wave. Ooh, New Wave, it is close to totally bugging. It's a little bit darker. And I'm gonna grab edge on my pinky, which probably isn't best, but you know, I'm running out of fingers here. And edge is a little bit darker than Buzzkill out of the ColourPop palette. So there's this shade here, which is electric, looks very similar to Sunburst, it just has a little bit more green in it and less yellow. The New Wave shade looks very similar to Totally Bugging. It's just a little bit darker. Same with Edge. Edge is a little bit darker than Buzzkill and I think there's a hint more orange in it. So I will have to do, um, when I do side-by-side -side comparisons, when I sit on the other side of the camera again and show you all of them together, you'll be able to see the difference that I'm seeing. Then we get into the Tetris palette from Ipsy, the Ipsy Tetris collab. There's only one, maybe two shades in here. I'm gonna grab Game Changer and Game Night. Game Changer has pretty nice pigmentation on it. It just takes a bit to build it up. And then Game Changer is stunning. All right, Game Changer has more green in it than Dandy. Or I mean, Game Night has more green in it than Dandy. I'll build this one up just a little bit more. That's kind of more like a mac and cheese kind of shade, the Game Changer, but it also looks very similar to Totally Buggin'. I'm gonna go ahead and do these next since they're there. Okay, one of these is my shadow. This one is the Bold Effects in the shade Queen Bee. I think I have one left in stock of those. This one is the NYX Cosmetics and Shut the Fuck Up or STFU. This one is a NYX shadow, oh no wait, this is a Morphe shadow in the shade Honey Baked. And then this is the NYX in Gilded. So first we have Queen Bee, STFU, Honey Baked, it's moving, and then Gilded. So Queen Bee, it's, a, it's like a satin shade, STFU from NYX. Honey Baked from Morphe and then Gilded. Whoa, I haven't swatched that one yet. I just got those in yesterday or the day before. So I hadn't really swatched these shadows and holy crap, that gold. Ooh. Out of the way. Okay, so with these, the STFU shade from NYX is similar to Sweet Spot, which is the shade here. And the Morphe Honey Baked shade is too light to be close to Queen Bee, and it um, Dandy is also darker. But the Gilded shade 
is almost spot on for the dandy shade. But I guess it would help if you could see it. Why is everything looking so darn blurry? So there are my single shadows. Oh, rapidly running out of counter space. I pulled the Jaclyn Hill palette because it has um, a couple of shades similar to this and it has a couple of like bronzy shades. So I'm gonna be doing Creamsicle, Pooter, Pukey, and Queen out of the second row first. So we have Creamsicle, Pooter, Pukey, and then Queen. I haven't put this shadow, these shadows on my eyes in a few months, so I might need to drag this palette back out. All right, so there's Creamsicle. Whoa. Actually, it looks close to Totally Buggin', just a little bit darker. And then we have Pooter, which is too red. Then we have Pukey, which looks a little darker than Buzzkill. And then we have Queen, which is more bronze than Queen Bee. I think there's maybe one shadow left in here that I was going to swatch, maybe, which is Hustle. I'll do Hustle and Meeks. They're the shades next to the blue, so we have Hustle and Meeks. Both of those are not even close. So we've got two shadows in there that could be potential similar shades. Then we have the Morphe James Charles palette and the Morphe 39S. I think that's what this is. 39, yeah, 39S. So the 39S palette has the glitter shade in it, but it's the wrong shade. But it has a couple of these like bronzy coppery shades, like this one here, which is pure luxe. And I'll do that here on my hand. Because I'm running out of room. And I thought that would be close to something in here, and I'm not seeing it. Blank thing is too pink. Cash the light is too beige. So I guess that's a nope on this one. This one I'm gonna go ahead and put away because it doesn't. I don't see any matches because that one there is doesn't match anything. And then we have the dreaded James Charles palette. This monstrous thing that has awful pigmentation. So we have B. Which looks chalky on my skin as well, just like the BH one. And it's similar to Obehave out of the ColourPop palette. And maybe this Punch Me shade, which I, if I ever saw him in person, I might just do. Okay, Punch Me is a little bit lighter than Buzzkill. Looking at some of the other shades. Wig, I think it's going to be too dark too. That wig is close to Queen Bee. And then I guess I'll do So Good, which is at the top, and Face, just to see. I'm not expecting them to be similar. So we have So Good at the top, and then we have Face. Two Peach. That one kind of looks pink. So those would both be a nope. So um, we have B and Wig out of the James Charles palette that look similar enough to the ColourPop shadows. So I now have shadow all over everything. And I mean everything. Give me a second to clean up and then I will sit on the other side of the camera so you can see all of the swatches together. Okay, so this is video with my iPhone. Up here we have the ColourPop palette to that brown right there. And then we have some of the other shades that I used or mixed trying to get shades that would be similar and I did find like this one here I found is very similar to the yellows I found a few that would be similar in color to the ColourPop palette and then that is the B shade from James Charles palette that was similar but I didn't find any that were like exact. And I went through like nine BH Cosmetics palettes. And yes, I got glitter all the way up here. Because when I bend my arm, see? Bend my arm. 
and we're going to go all the way up here. So there are a few. Okay, so here are all of the shades together. This shade here is the James Charles Queen, and then the, the next one here is Wig. It's very similar to this shade and this shade out of the original, you know, ColourPop palette. But I think all in all, I have a good variety of yellow shades that are similar to the you know, palette, but nothing that is identical. I have a few yellows that look like they'd be really close in shade, but on the skin, the hue is just a little bit different. The lightness of darkness is a little bit different than the original palette. Um, I will do video of these outside where I can set the camera down and use natural lighting with it and step away from it and show you both of my arms at the same time. In natural lighting because it seems like the lighting in here today for whatever reason wants to be either too dark or too overexposed so I'm gonna go ahead and do that outside and hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you do like these comparison videos and you have a palette in mind that you want to see me do um, I just watched Lauren May Beauty do one where she swatched all of her black eyeshadows out of her palettes if you have a specific color that you want me to swatch out let me know because I know I did an orange and a green uh, a while back before St. Patrick's Day, I did all of my orange and green shades, but since then I do have a few uh, new palettes. I've got the Subculture one that I just bought, the uh, Marvicorn one from BH. I have the new mini palettes from BH that I got in a, a couple months ago. I have the Tetris palette that I got from an Ipsy. I have the Butter London palette that I got from the BoxyCharm and the Tarte palette that I got from the BoxyCharm. And I bought the 39S palette from Morphe. So if you have a particular color that you want me to do swatches of or swatching all of my X kind of colors, like red or yellow or blue or purple or pink or silver, those kinds of things, let me know because I don't have any problems doing these. I actually kind of enjoy doing these like swatch videos like this because I learn so much about my shadows when I do this. There are shades and palettes that you know we kind of always avoid or we're too scared to use. And by doing these swatches, I get to experience how pretty the shadows are, and then I'm more interested in using them in makeup looks. I don't just stick to neutral eyeshadow. I use whatever I feel I want to use at the time. I don't mind doing bold looks. I don't mind doing colorful looks. Uh, so I'm not just a neutral kind of uh, channel. I know a lot of people that I watch on YouTube, they stick to the same kind of color story that's neutral and work appropriate. And I'm not always going to do that. I'm going to experiment with color. I'm going to have fun mixing and matching shades. And I'm going to put colors together that most people wouldn't think of because heck, I'm curious and I want to see what the hell it looks like together. So if you think the same way that I do, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see me do next. Okay, we are outside in natural lighting. This is the one arm and then the other arm. I'm not quite sure. It looks like I'm in a sunspot. Try and go this direction. So the very top row up here is the color pop to this shadow. And there are quite a few shades that are very similar to the color pop shadow, especially like the BH shadow here is very similar. And we've got this shade here that's very similar. And then the mixed shade that I tried to do to get this color, I'm gonna have to take pictures as well. And then we have this arm here. The James Charles palette is this yellow here, which is hard to show you this direction. So we have the James Charles B shade and then wig. Those are very similar to um, O Behave and then the Queen B shade. Maybe it'll just work if I just do this. Ignore my or my green shorts. And yes, most likely I will wear these shadows on my arms for a few hours. 
because I'm gonna go do a makeup look next. That glitter is like hanging out in my in the hair of my arm. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be on everything. It's like stuck. But hopefully this is helpful to you. Now I know how people feel with tattoos on their arms. Except for mine are temporary. It washes off. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, I try and record these swatch videos either before I get a shower or before I do it like a makeup look or something like that. So if you ever see me do a makeup look and I got swatches halfway up my arm and my elbow, then you know that I've done a swatch video recently. So um, hopefully this was helpful. Again, my name is Rebecca Riverset. Leave me a comment down below, toss a like on this video, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.